Wigan. Wigan watch. 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 Hello, welcome to Wigan Watch. On this episode, we're going to look at the hall where my shop used to be. It's God. We're also going to ask the question: Why is Labour Council or well, Labour councillors mentioning the redevelopment of the town centre in their election paraphernalia? We've got the workman there. My old shop is still hanging on by its skin of its teeth. I spoke to one of the guys, and he said that would be gone by the end of yesterday, and it's still there. So we'll have to wait and see. So there you go then, my old shop no longer exists. It's completely gone. And I don't know when they're gonna open this up for the market traders to use. But yeah, a bit emotional really, seeing it gone. It's weird. I suppose the big question is, has anyone had a leaflet from Labour about the elections actually talking about the redevelopment of Wigan in a positive way? Because I mentioned it in my election leaflet, not in a positive way, but I like to see someone actually, you know, be positive about it from the election. Anyway, let's have a look at some leaflets. So the first leaflet is a kit green. So I questioned why there was no Pemberton mentioned on the Prescott's uh, Rigby uh, leaflet last time. That's because they've obviously done three. Uh, I don't know if it's equivalent of one each or whether it's just the three main areas of the uh, um, ward. But anyway, <clears throat> still question the fact that we've got two people who were married to each other, who were councillors. Um, I just don't think that... I know it's legal, and there's nothing wrong against it, but I just don't think it's right. Um, speed awareness cameras, because they always work, don't they? Uh, Pemberton councillors have had a speed awareness camera reinstated on Spring Road after residents raised concerns following a serious accident and many incidents of speeding. They've also installed warning signs for foreign vehicles and some near misses with speeding traffic. Um, then we've got uh, Mayfield Garage Site. Mayfield Garage Site was fast becoming a dumping ground, making it unsightly for residents and councillors. Well, I found a lot of uh, litter and stuff that was dumped around uh, when I was posting leaflets the other day. Um, rear of City Lane, Bell Lane. Again, doesn't look great, does it? And you got before and after of this uh, walkway. But uh, it just looks different to me, um, the walkway. Unless it's... One picture's taken one way, the other picture's taken the other way, uh, which would explain it, because you've got this, this thing here, which doesn't feature there at all, and then you've got these walls here, but then you've got a gap in the wall there, and you've got, so anyway, I assume they've flipped it round. Um, so that's the label one. <clears throat> we've got McDonald's Street and Queen Street, where they are going to put some drop curves in. It's only took them until just before an election to do that, and those curbs have not been dropped forever so it just seems highly opportunistic um, six contaminated bins and green hay uh, part of the ward all bins were removed uh, over the weeks uh, stickers were fixed to bins reminding people to recycle properly um, again like I said before there's easy ways of doing it uh, re regular litter picks uh, that's mostly the locals doing that I've been told um, but apparently here, Pemberton councillors carry out re regular litter picks on the ward uh, and they funded more bins as well. And this is a bit that's interesting, I didn't really notice. Um, so that's the local stuff, yeah, you get that. This is um, a bigger picture. So uh, a fully costed budget with no cuts to services or jobs, lowest council tax in Greater Manchester, supporting our social care workers, expanding apprenticeships, continuing free week, uh, weekend parkings, uh, continuing the WASP campaign and you're like yeah but you don't mention the biggest thing that's going on in Wigan that Mr Paul Prescott has organised and well is, is part of the planning committee and that is the regeneration of the town centre or as a lot of people thinking the destruction of the town centre the more people I meet while I'm delivering leaflets I'll be honest with you um, 
I'd be worried if I was uh, the Prescotts because some of the stuff I'm being told, which I can't repeat, um, are shocking. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that none of it is true. But uh, yeah, like I said before, I don't like the fact that people are allowed to have people from the same family. I think if you are married uh, or related by blood, so brother and sister or father and son, father and daughter, uh, anything like that, um, or related as in uncles, aunties, nieces, nephews, that should not be allowed because that is not a democracy. Democracy is individuals who are um, elected to go on the council to do the best for the people. And then I get this one. Uh, this is your candidates for Goose Green, Highfield, Maris Bridge and Wynne Stanley. And look, we've got Morgan and Morgan. And you're like, no, can't be, can't be another couple. Surely not. But, uh, yep, we've got uh, Paul Kenny. No idea uh, any relation whatsoever to anyone else. But anyway, Paul Kenny. But then you've got uh, Clive Morgan and Marie Morgan. Um, it, Marie is currently the mayor of the uh, borough and the town's first citizen. Um, and uh, Clive is a former Welsh guard and veteran of the 1982 Falklands War. He's married to uh, Marie and Clive is blessed with three children and five grandchildren. So yeah, we've got man and wife again as councillors. And I just can't see how that is done. If you've got leaflets similar to this, please come to the shop and drop them off and I will film them. Um, again, uh, a lot done, but um, more to do. Well, how long have you been in power for? That's what the Labour say about the Conservatives nationally, isn't it? You've been in power for years, but you still haven't done half the stuff you should have done. Um, secure funding for local groups, working with the police, community speed watch, respect our veteran community, uh, secure funding to improve play areas. Um, Housing boost and families to older people at Goose Green, which is all good. Um, and then all this stuff here as well. Now, this isn't my ward, to be fair, uh, but I just got given this to show people uh, that it's not just the Prescotts who are man and wife, which is why I'm saying please feel free to uh, let me know uh, if you've got a leaflet which has got something similar on it. Um, I want to hear from you. There's three of them, so it's we want to hear from you, I would have thought. But anyway... Uh, what could Labour do to improve things in our area? Uh, which of the following issues are important to you? Crime education, NHS, street crime, uh, street scene, sorry, local environment, others, police state on a very small line. Which of the, uh, will you be voting for in the upcoming election? Labour, Conservative, Lib Dem, Green, Reform. I'm gutted that I'm not on there. Independent, obviously. Yeah, I'm gutted about that, but what can you do? Uh, then they ask for your name, your phone number, your email and your address. So you've told them, who you're going to vote for and where you live. Brilliant. And then you've got all this garb under here, which basically says uh, the, the Labour Party uses your personal data for a variety of reasons, including related to engaging in the de democratic process where we rely on, um, where we rely on, uh, where is it? Uh, consent. You are always able to opt out. We may use the information you provide, such as name and postcode, to match data from your electoral register record held on our electoral database, which could inform future communication you receive from us. So basically, if you say, I'm not, I'm voting for anyone other than Labour, you're going to be targeted with leaflets and things like that. Um, yeah, it's great, isn't it? It also says all that garb there as well. But if you go back to this, remember you have free votes. That's what they want you to do. You have up to three votes. You do not have to vote three times. You can vote for one person. You can vote for two people. You can vote for three people. The choice is yours. You do not have to vote for three people. And you certainly don't have to vote for three people. So there you go then. Uh, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you're from Press Statin, hi. Thanks for visiting. I'll see you again soon. Till then. Goodbye. Wigan. Watch. Wigan. Wigan watch. 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 Wigan watch